communication to communicate in the learning process and in music playing so of course then therefore we can say that the teacher and the student these two parts have to do their job properly so what is the job of the teacher and what is the job of the student the job of the student is to upgrade his playing yeah, right by the, by the guidance that is receiving from the teacher and the teacher's job is to make sure that this guy plays better than what he played yesterday or that day and all of my students I wonder after the lesson they have to be better even if it's one millimeter I don't care but they have to to be and play and listen and feel music better when they go out of the door or when the sky lesson is, 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 is over, they have to, to feel and to actually be better players. So this is my job. I have to make sure that this happens before I have to record videos, do many austerities and so many sacrifices to hold this channel and to give the inspiration and the proper things, proper materials, private videos, etc. And everything, the tabs and writing music, all but the student needs to upgrade his playing. So these roles here, this, this is also communication, very important. Because if the teacher was like one guy said, uh, well, actually, you know, I was, uh, I actually am left-handed. And one day he show up with, 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 with the guitar, with the strings, the other way around like this to learn it. But I said, oh, what happened? I thought it was a problem of the Skype screen or something. He said, no, actually, I was shy to say it, but I decided that I will go with my nature because I am actually left-handed. In fact, I, I saw this guy had a had very good left hand when he was playing like all like right hand. So I said, but why you didn't tell me this before, man? You said you should say it. Do you think I will be angry or something? What are you saying? If, actually, I am totally against making a left-hand guy play as a right hand. Why? Like in the school they make them right. You know, seesaws are made for right hand. Everything they have now objects and companies doing that. Things. Of course, in AG there are left-handed guitars. I am against that a left-hand guy plays like right-handed. Why? You should do this against his nature. But if the student doesn't, doesn't say it, then there is a problem of communication by omission or by not saying the thing or because you do not understood what is the thing that also can happen and therefore here the communication with the teacher is very important just like one guy came he had not much uh, of a sublime goal to get but in my, from my point of view but he came and said I want to, I want to, you said that we can learn anything we want in this guy lessons and what you teach here in CFG, so I want to impress others. I don't want quality playing or quality of music. I just want to have technique like that can impress everyone, like you know, doing I want to do this thing and people say, wow, just that. What I want is to impress others. Can you give me that? And I say, yeah, of course. I have first I thought it was a joke or something, but and another guy said, I want to be a parrot. 
I know what you say about pirates, he goes first. And, and then, then I, I, I thought, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I hope he's not offended. Right? Because I say, I say my opinion there. Yeah. And not, not that I'm against anyone or anything, but I, I say what I think about and what Paco told me about this thing also. Then this guy says, I, I am a parrot. I want to be a parrot, actually. This is what I want. So I don't want to, to create anything, to do any creativity stuff. I just want to parrot stuff. I want to be a first class parrot. Can you help me with this? <laughs> and I said, yeah, of course I can help you. But one thing I learned from these guys, and that I congratulate both, because they know what they, they, they don't have any doubt, they really are convinced and they know what they want, and they communicate very well with the teacher. They were very straightforward thing. I want to be a parrot. All of that guy also last year came and said, I don't want to learn rhythm properly. I know we have to count and do these things, but I don't want that. I want to play just, even if it's imperfect, I don't care. I want that. I want to be, to uh, be spared from that effort. Because I'm not willing to pay the price to do it. And that's all. I don't care if at the end of the day I cannot play with the caja, with the hand claps, or that. I don't care, I will play all of <laughs> So he, he also communicates very clearly. Right? But if you don't tell me what you, you want, then how will you get single and go to to these ladies with the with the magic sphere there. Do you think this is taught and one that? But what I will ask them? <laughs> this is the first, you know. So communication is the goal here. And then the four you know, is the goal of musicals, which means that the audience is there, you play something and then they they get it, they get the communication from that. But this communication is two part thing. So if this fails also, of course they got their goal. Right? Because that's what they want. If someone wants to, that's why other people, other guys said, uh, I want to, to get, to play falsetta, learn the falsetta, learn the falsetta. Said, For that you don't need me really. But he said, no, yeah, I need you because you play it better. You sing and I, I really need it. I said, why you don't do it alone or, or just with the, by the dabs or whatever and try to do it as everyone else is doing. And he said, no, because this is not very, the title is not telling me many things and I, I see how you play the things and I want to learn the falsettas from you. But I, I want to learn only falsettas. <laughs> Which is just against our... What Paco said. Paco said the goal of this thing, of Menko's improvisation. Go to what that, what that, that rhythm and composition and play. But this guy wanted this, so he gave me a good reason that said, no, you, you know better this, so I actually want to learn that only. So everyone has a different interest, right? You cannot force also others. Teachers, the teacher should not also impose something. No, you have to do this. I never do. That's why these guys came and said, can you give me this? <laughs> like the teacher is a supermarket or something, you go there and buy anything, right? With me, there is no problem. Right? Paco was very sensitive about this. <laughs> Because, first of all, he will not reveal the knowledge unless he sees you can take it. And, 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 and second, it will be hard <laughs> if he would say something harsh or, or strong stuff. Like, to get you an idea, this is the difference, well, the training I got, the difference is, is that of the training of special forces guys compared to the cop of Walmart. That is, the, <laughs> that is the difference of the training. You have to be prepared to accept painful things or stuff there. Wow. <laughs> right? Because you have to, to, to get rid of misconceptions. Unless you do that, you don't progress in music. And this, of course, is based in, communi in communication and sometimes hidden communication because intuitively you know what we're doing is right or not right. And then that's why you are going down. Because these guys knew. They, they, these guys said, I, don't, I never practice with metronome. I hate metronome and I don't want to be a curate rhythmically. I want to play wrong. But also impressive thing. I want to impress fools. Or someone who doesn't say fools, but you say someone who does not know about music. The layman, you know. And this, if I can get that, I am okay. This is my goal. 
So I say, wow, this guy really knows what he wants. So I learned from him this thing. Many people go to the school of music or Berkeley or somewhere, and still they don't know what they want from music. So look at these fellows. It seems a bit cynical. That was first I thought, was a joke. Also the guy that came and said, I want to be a pirate. What is this? You know, I am the, the, I am always saying that you should not be a pirate because Paco said that. And I, I just said the same thing. <laughs> but the, still this guy, he listened to that and said, no, no, wait. I want to get this technique from him, and I want to learn this way, even if it's against the, the philosophy of the, of the new era of flamenco, or what we are doing actually with this. We are, that's not that we are against falsetta playing, we, we play falsetta as well, so, but we are not just play falsetta, we also want to understand what it is. People play falsetta and they don't even know what a falsetta is. <laughs> so then therefore, this is not our school. The, this is not modern flamenco school, this is the old fashioned thing. Right? But, but I am clear and I said how it is, straightforward, and they also. They came and said, I want to be part of the one thing, they want technique, you know. So, um, great for them. I admire them actually, this thing, they may be watching this video, so I'm not saying anything wrong. In fact, guys, many guys should learn from them how to be clear about your goal. And, talk, the, and how to communicate with the teacher. Bueno, yo lo que descubrí ahí es la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando. Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo porque de pronto Habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 